Hi, Tim Unkert here, and I'm going to show you how to get a free SSL for your GoDaddy website. So I'm on this website, which is zerossl.com, and I'm going to scroll down here to free SSL certificate wizard. And this gives you a free SSL certificate that you can renew every 90 days from Let's Encrypt. Okay, so I'm going to click start. So here, I'm going to enter my email, okay. um, and I'm going to enter the domain. And you don't have to enter your email. Um, I'm going to do it just to get some updates. Uh, you can enter the domains that you want to use. Uh, I'm going to do it for a website that I am using for my math students. I'm a math teacher. Um, I'm going to enter mathforeverybody.com and then the www.mathforeverybody.com. Okay. Uh, I'm going to accept the this and this, and then I'm going to click next. Okay, so this will take a short amount of time. And I'm going to pause the video while it takes, oh, and it's done. Okay. I'm going to download this as a backup. And I'm going to click Next. It's going to take maybe another minute or so. So, so far I haven't paused the video, so this is real time. And it might be a little bit slower because I have some recording software on my screen. So, you might even get this done a little faster. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll pause the video if this is taking a little bit longer. We'll just go down and pause it. Okay, so that took about another 30 seconds or minute that I had it paused. Um, okay, so I'm going to it uh, generate this private key. So I'm going to download the backup as well. Okay. And then I'm going to click Next. Okay, and I have these two files, so let's see what it says. Uh, I guess they were doing some maintenance this, on August 13th, but anyways. Um, all right, so to, ver to verify the domain ownership, you need to create the appropriate files. Um, uh, so you have to create a folder called well-known and then make sure the files are in that folder. So you first create a folder dot well dash known, and then inside that folder, create a file called Acme challenge. Okay, so, all right. So I'm gonna download these first. All right, then I'm going over to my C panel. So I'm in GoDaddy, and I'm gonna go to my file manager. Okay, and I'm going to go to my public HTML, and I'm doing this for math for everybody. Okay, so now I need to create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder dot well known, and I've done this before for other ones. So I'll create that folder. Uh, let me refresh. It's probably going to bring me back up. All right, so I'm going to go back, and that didn't work. Hold on one sec. Okay, it just wasn't refreshing properly. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this well-known folder. And another folder. And this one's going to be Acme Challenge. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this folder. And I will find my two files and upload them. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment while I dig through my downloads to get those two files. Okay, so I've gone through and I've found those two files. Um, so I'm going to want to upload these two files into that folder. Okay, so I've clicked on Upload. And so now I have the choice of uploading these two files. So I'm going to upload that one. Okay. And that's done. And then... And then that one, let me just 
checked to make sure I didn't upload the same file twice, which I might have. Oh, two different files. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to uh, the zero SSL site and click next. This may take a moment. So I'll pause. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, so the certificate is ready. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this top part here. Okay, so that's been copied. I'm going to go back to my cPanel and type in SSL. And then I'm going to go down to here where it says uh, SSL slash TLS. Okay. And then I'm going to go install and manage SSL for your site. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and click select a domain. So then I'm going to click on math for everybody. And I'm going to paste in what I had. And see, so you get this warning sign that says the certificate is not valid. And it's because there's actually two. There's this thing on the top, and then there's also the authority bundle. So what I need to do is go through, and I'm going to highlight here, up to where it says begin certificate. Hit control X. Okay. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and paste it in with control V. Okay, so now I've got that in there. That's good. Now I'm going to go back here and copy the bottom one, the private key. So I'm going to copy. Okay, go back to here and paste the private key in. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to click install certificate and hopefully everything will work. Yeah, and I get the sign. You have successfully updated the SSL certificate on math for everybody. Okay. So I'm going to click OK. Um, it may be able to be used on these domains, um, but it uh, uh, the certificate doesn't support them. So that's fine. I, I don't really care. This is for a small website for my class, so I just want to have that secure sign on it. It's not taking any critical information. Um, it's just providing the math information. OK, so I click OK. All right, so now I'll open this up in a different one. Type in mathforeverybody.com, and it says not secure, so it hasn't gotten there yet. Actually, and it might have not because I didn't set the um, the hypertext access file to re to force to uh, SSL. So let's try this. Okay. And then you'll see right up here in the corner, I have secure. So it is working. All right. So that was pretty simple. It took less than 10 minutes to do. Um, so it's an easy way to install a free uh, SSL uh, on your website through GoDaddy's cPanel hosting. Um, and it is one that you will have to update every uh, 90 days. But it's the update process um, is not very hard. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps. And if you have any constructive criticism, please leave it for me. I'm open to any constructive suggestions on uh, how to get this information to you in an easier way. All right. Thanks. Bye.